Hey everyone, today's video is not like a tutorial, this is just a video for giving you inspiration. I will show you my ideas for learning languages with Anki. We had a similar video about how you can use Notion to Anki for learning languages, but this is more in depth and this doesn't necessarily use Notion to Anki. Um, this is about creating custom templates for different languages. Today we'll take Norwegian as an example because we also have a podcast called Norwegian and Things and in the last episode we talked about learning Norwegian with Anki. You can listen to that, the, the link will be in the description. And in that episode I promised to share my card templates for Norwegian. Uh, with the listeners. So we will have a look at this card templates, these cards, and you will get the core idea of learning languages with Anki. The thing is, every language has its own features. So you can't take uh, my Norwegian card and use it for Italian. You could develop something similar for Italian really easy um, if you have an idea. But this makes it more efficient because every language, as I said, has uh, their own features, own peculiarities, and um, w you can design card types exactly uh, targeting these kind of um, peculiar features of languages. So Norwegian, we have gender, and we have only a few different forms of verbs. Um, we have we have some irregular plurals or different forms of plural. Um, so this could be something we can incorporate in our cards so okay so let's start browsing and we can uh, talk about it as we see it so i actually have i just have three notes one of them is barn so we can look at that barn and a at so word this is uh, something about the gender grammatical gender of the word if you don't know what grammatical gender is in some languages uh, most commonly and uh, in the European ones, because they are most, uh, they're one of the groups that are most spoken in the world, but uh, most European languages have something called grammatical gender. So uh, it ch it comes down to language, but Norwegian has a masculine, feminine, and a neutral form. Um, so at this is uh, just as a neutral form. Um, there is the plural form of the word barn barn, and this is this means translation in Norwegian and this is the translation of the word in English and definition ponosk uh, means definition in Norwegian and I uh, I will show you in a moment just this is the definition of the word in Norwegian this means similar words and this yeah for example barn child and bando childhood are similar so um, it it makes sense to include a similar word in a card so uh, you can I, I also add some um, some context to the to my cards. This can be a similar sentence. This can be just a few words, but you have to surround the the word with different words that you can understand how it is used. And yeah, you can see it in context. Context is one of the most important things in a language or maybe in life. Everything uh, gains its meaning in a context. And I make sure to include a image, a picture, if it's possible. Some words just don't have suitable pictures, but most of them do. And so, for example, this is child, and I just put an image of child here. So another um, word. This this was um, my notes for um, my notes for nouns. But there are also different types of words in languages. For example, adjective, adverb. And this is phrases. So we have old here. Um, this is old for old. This is Norwegian for old. And we had a translation. We have the definition. Um, we have similar words again, and we have the word in context. We also have an image. So this is old, and I have an image of an old man here. Um, and um, we have another um, another. In type this is uh, for verbs so to learn infinitive uh, translation definition 
and this these are different verb forms so this is present tense preterit which means it's something happened in the past and perfect participle. this is you can use it in different contexts to mean different things um, but you can use it to form perfect for example and yeah i i include again similar words and words in context which means we learn norwegian and again a picture now we'll have a look at the cards that are created from these notes click on cards and now we have a card with uh, the Eng uh, English translation in front and the answer in the back. Um, there are different, yeah, all, all of them have the answer in it, packed all the information. But in the front, for example, this the second card has the definition in Norwegian as the question. And the third card has the image. So you have to see the image and know what the word is. And this is important because you have to connect images and words, because you have to uh, learn a word by itself. I don't think this is a child, so this is a barn when I speak Norwegian. I just think, okay, um, this is a barn, or uh, yeah, this is similar. So you have to connect the concepts with words, not the translation. So. Um, we also have this extra information, so I packed it here. You can see the gender, You can it can take one of these, and in the back, we know we learned the answer. So, and another one is, you just don't know the plural, and you get to know, you, you get to answer the question by saying the plural form. So this is the, the cards that are created for a noun card type. There are different cards, as I said, so this is another one. This is adjective, adverbs, and phrases. Again, first English translation, and then uh, the word, um, and then the definition, and then, so you get to, you get asked about from the definition, you have to tell the word, and then you get the image and know what the word is. Uh, this is that about this is it about um, about adjectives and adverbs. There are also verbs. So let's click on cards again. So there are different types of uh, cards again, six different cards. One of them is translation again, English word. You can do this in your native language. So I made this in English because I'm I'm doing a video in English and I'll share this deck, but. If this my this if this was my own deck, I would just use I would have just used Turkish because yeah, this makes more sense. Um, you you have the Norwegian Norwegian definition and then an image and uh, now you, you get asked about different uh, verb forms. So you it asks asks you the present form and then preterit form, past form, and the participle form. So you, yeah, this is straightforward. You don't see, you don't know the word. This is marked like this, and you just uh, have to say that. Okay, now that we have browsed through my card types and cards, we can actually see how these cards work in practice. So I will just click on study now. So the first one we see is with the English translation, and yeah, this is straightforward child um, again um, old yeah so now we have the Norwegian definition of learn uh, we can go on and wait until we yeah we have an image and we see the back of the card that's the word and the extra information we included in the card yeah it goes on yeah oh um, now we have um, the verb forms cards. So we we have the we have the verb and different forms, but we don't know the present form. So you you have to think about it and answer the card. So this is how it is. So there are different. So this is with the gender of the noun. Yeah, as I said, there are different cards, and I think they are all useful. So if you are learning another language, uh, the Norwegian. Um, you can make decks and send to us on our Discord server. 
and I'm happy to check it and give feedback to you or contribute something to your decks. I'd also be happy to see what innovations you can bring into these cards and how do you use it. Um, and if you learn a language and you don't, you have no idea how you can do something similar, maybe contact us again on the Discord server. You can find the link to the Discord server in the description and we can discuss about it. Maybe I can learn only a bit about the language you're learning and help you create the, the card types you, are, you want. So thanks for watching. See you in another video.